So now in order to complete the basic orthographic of our character, we'll need to do the side view of the, the character as well. So to do that, we'll create a new layer for it. We'll go ahead and hide the front for now. I'll actually lock the front layer for now. Give it a proper name. Make sure you select that layer, file, import to stage, select the side view. Once again, we'll need to scale the image down. We could actually place a layer on the in the middle layer uh, just to give us a better idea. Okay, so one very important thing about orthographic and pretty much the whole point is to keep our character accurate and proportional. So we need to make sure that the size of the head remains constant in the front and the side view of it. Uh, same as for the hand, the legs, and pretty much the whole entire body of it. Um, best way to approach this, of course, our, our drawings don't match perfectly, and to make sure they do, uh, in our actual drawing in Flash, we can always create guidelines. Um, so make a new layer, change the color to something like uh, light blue, and make sure you hide all the other layers for now. Um, call this one guidelines, let's say. Alright, so select your line and I want you to actually um, select all the edges of the shapes. For instance, the head, hold shift and drag a line across the, uh, the side view of the character. So we'll do this for the end of the face to let's say um, where the eyebrows begin and where it ends to even the end of the ears maybe where the nose begins where it ends So in this part, you may need to have the, uh, the snap object disabled. So as you could already see, our um, our picture is actually not entirely proportional. So that should be good for now. Alright, next thing we'll do is select the entire lines and um, this is actually, you don't literally have to do it, but you could always, you know, hit F8, change this to graphic, um, select this and lower the alpha alright 
course we'll go ahead and hide these layers go back to ang uh, front and actually sorry ang side so just a side oh it's actually a side it's actually the reference So we actually need a drawing layer for Ang. There you go. All right. So hide everything else. Only have this one unlocked. Sorry, locked everything else. Only have this one unlocked. And now we can actually begin and um, to draw the character. So this part is a bit more tricky. You know, you pretty much have to follow this reference, but also follow the um, the proportion and the alignment. Of all the objects so change the color to red again and now you can go ahead and begin your drawing I'm just going to make this a bit closer so it's easier. So take it a step at a time. Um, for instance, now that we need to focus on his eyebrows, we'll first start by actually um, drawing out the eyebrows. It doesn't matter where it is exactly. once that's done you could actually place it where it should be which in this case a bit higher yeah something like that all right so second we'll um, tackle the eyes So as you can see, you might have to improvise a little bit because the references are not always perfect. So I need to get an idea of the um, the size of the uh, of the iris. So I'm going to first get the shape. It's actually behind the line here because our layer is uh, is behind the front. So for now, we'll uh, bring it up. So just try to um, duplicate the same shape of it for now. Bring this back. Select it. And pretty much drag it all the way. Make sure it's uh, proportional. Okay. 
Okay, so it should be somewhere here. We'll hit Q and give it the proper shape. And rotation. So as I was over there last time, we moved the excess lines. And we adjust. Okay. Finally, we can now reposition the eye as well. Okay, so now Let's tackle the ear. Now go ahead and position the ear. Make sure first of all that they are matching in size, which they are not in this picture. Alright. Then you position them. Okay, so next, the nose. So we'll check the nose. So now the mouth. 